All right, welcome back with Season 5, Episode 3 of The Dragon Prince. Last we left off, Viren was going through it with his visions from Dark Magic, and he saw something terrible happening with Sorin as a child. Meanwhile, Callum and Raylar are headed towards Luxaria, so yeah, maybe a reuniting with Aunt Amaya and Queen Janai. Haven't seen them so far this season yet. And yeah, full reaction's gonna be on Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube, we're probably, probably pretty far ahead over there as well. Leave a like, and let's get started. Ba -bum. Ba -bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got Thanos. I would do anything to change this. Time heist. Anything. Nightmares and revelations. Zim can fly, fly pretty fast. To fly alongside his mom. Calling all dragons! Well, this scene is kind of awesome. <laughs> Beseech or entreat? What did you decide? Dragons of Zadia, we need your help again. Two dark mages are traveling through Zadia trying to unleash an ancient and mysterious evil. Great dragons, I beseech you. Beseech! Help us find them. You should have entreated us instead of besieged us. Cool. <laughs> oh, the irony oh, is crap. wonderful. Jeez. I know the dreams will pass. I just <sighs> need a distraction. Distraction? I can't tell what she's flirting. Right. We have wedding planning. <laughs> What's next? All uh, right. I think I can handle flowers. <laughs> I thought he was some him humming the theme song oh, of the no. show. Is he kind of the perfect boyfriend? <laughs> I'll do anything. So he and Claudia used dark magic to save Soren. Twice in his life he's been saved. Oh. That's scary. He's afraid of who you've become. I had no choice. Damn. Humans and elves together in one camp. Peaceful utopia? <laughs> well, Getting there. No. <laughs> and yes, Sleep. I'm sure you've heard the news. You haven't? News? You haven't heard? I haven't heard any news. Is there news? Just tell me what's going on. It's good news, just... It's probably best if Amaya tells you herself. Just put his mind at ease, at least. I like the... I like them both. Maybe the one on the right, or the, I don't know. Left is nice, too. I, I can't choose. Yeah, they're both great. Okay. Hey, it's Amaya! What's... Is everything okay? Yes, everything's great. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, just threw his staff. Go oh, wait, she's strong. <laughs> when was acting, I thought maybe the world was ending or something. <laughs> it it kind of is. What brings you here? Oh, uh, the world uh, is uh, ending. The world might actually be ending. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Oh man. Oh Claudia. I'm following in your footsteps. <laughs> oh wow. Literally and figuratively. Is this what you want for your daughter? Claudia. So that's when Rexignia said that he has the knowledge but doesn't know it. And I was like, what? Recapping all of season three. I realized. Get to the Four. point. Viren's alive. And he and Claudia are trying to release the most dangerous being in all of Zadia. A star-touch elf called Aravos. 
I mean, it was a good summary, sure. We have to go to the Great Bookery of Luxoria to search for the scrolls of the First Elves and learn everything we can about Erevos before Can we returns. even get to it? No, I forbid you. Forbid? I thought she would warn them and say it's too dangerous, but she forbids them? How long can... Elves last in the desert? Sunfire Elves. What would you have me do? Please, give me something. Show me that not all is lost. What? <laughs> Show me a sign! Run from the sign! <laughs> we don't have a lot of time. And the bookery might have something in it that'd give us a fighting chance. It's the only lead we've got. We lost so many lives. We know that it's dangerous. But we don't have a choice. We had to kill the infected. Our own people. It was a nightmare. Lux Alia is forbidden ground. My decision stands. Uh, Janai. Bigger picture. I'm sorry. Bigger picture. He's aware of what's happening outside because that's the flower that she just put in her hair. She said she was following in his footsteps, but now... Oh, no. Does this mean she's gone past him? Tidal wave of blood. No! They turn back! The wave is a metaphor for dark magic? Oh no! Treacherous. At least we're making good time. I this. A few days ago, I was pacing and doing nothing in a castle. Now I'm pacing and doing nothing in a tent. If anything, that's worse. <laughs> a downgrade. I mean, we fought together at the Storm Spire. She saw me zap dark magic monsters. Oh, Rayla. I like that they're on the same page. Us. Nobody can. Oh, wow. So we're going to Luxoria, right? Too right we are. Too right we are. <laughs> oh, no. This could go real bad, though. Um, Amaya, hi. Callum, you're a terrible liar. <laughs> I know you're going to Luxoria. And I'm coming with you. That's going to cause some tension in their engagement. Waterfall? That seems about right. It's basically a cliche at this point. Take my hand. Oh! Whoops! Is she here to tell her that she's going? You look like you're ready to go somewhere. I'll feel better knowing you are at their side. Okay, that's this is you nicer know, than I, I thought. Wish I could go, but the worst of it all. This means our wedding will have to wait. Yeah. I swear, if this show kills off one of them before they get married, or even afterwards, I'm gonna be so pissed. Banishment wasn't enough, was it? I don't now think- My sister wants to send an assassin to finish me? I... No. <laughs> ration, ration! No one sent me to follow you. I wish to follow you. Oh. Our only hope. Ah. Karim of Luxaria. Uh. us back to glory. God damn it. Dad! <sighs> he learned Dad, nothing. Where are you? Um, in the water? No. Oh wow, look at this. Mirroring each other. He's reaching for her, she's diving for him. Do anything for our family, whatever it takes, however dangerous, however vile. She's become you. Heck of a swimmer she is. He's not breathing! You're bringing books? You do know we're going to a library, right? I borrowed these two years ago. They're Ooh. terribly overdue. Think of the late fees! Defiance. Don't worry, she knows. Kind of. you something. To Ooh. Keep you safe from Luxalia. Very I cool. Go with you. Let me be by your side in spirit. <laughs> I finally chose. Nice choice. That's not CPR. Come back! Come back! Don't you have dark magic stuff? The path of fate is already chosen. Every step I took. 
I took because I had to. Uh huh. That can't be true. No matter where you are on the path, no matter what you've done before, every step forward is a choice. I am free. What choices will you make now? No. Oh. <laughs> Dragons searching. Is, did you see that dragon? Look down, look down. And end of episode. They keep ending it just like oh. Yeah, this is interesting. Um him seeing a younger self version of himself, um one that hasn't been hasn't gone through all that dark magic. That is adorable. Is this Baby Claudia with a unicorn? Oh, Terrestri- Oh, that's very funny. Terrestrius as a gondola. Uh, boatsman? Go what do you call the people who row gondolas? Gondoliers? Gondoliers, I think. I feel like this show does so many micro cliffhangers. The scene changes just when something interesting is happening in one scene, and the episode ends just as you have more and more questions. So the dragon probably didn't see them, because otherwise it would have attacked. But also, what good would Ezrin calling on the dragons be if they can't even track down Claudia and Viren? I guess storytelling-wise, Viren and Claudia have to bring Aravos back at some point, and I guess the dragons could be helpful in actually fighting against him and whatever other forces he conjures up. Ezrin decided to beseech the dragons rather than entreat them. Glad it worked out, glad to have them on our side again. And yeah, this episode also built in some unnecessary tension. Why would they have Janai forbid Callum and Rayla from going to the bookery, only to allow them to go later in the episode? Was it just to explain why there will be no Sunfire Elf backup as they head for the bookery? But at the very least, it'll be cool to see them traveling together with Gren and Amaya. Those are some very fun characters, so it'll be interesting to see that dynamic. And yeah, I like the little wedding prep we got to see in this episode too. A lot of the time after falling in love with characters, I don't even necessarily need to see them in all-out battles for the fate of the world. Sometimes I just want to see them live their everyday happy lives, so it was a nice slice of life thing that I really appreciated. And then we also got to see Kareem. Oh man, his whole story, I'm so annoyed by him. Banishing him never felt like the right move. He wasn't going to learn his lesson, and now he has followers who are willing to follow him in going against Janai. Man, we have bigger things to worry about with Aravos on the horizon as well. And then we learn more about Soren as a child. Some people are saying that this was told in a comic or a book, and that Viren used dark magic to save Soren. So yeah, Soren's life has been saved once by dark magic, and then was given back the use of his limbs by dark magic as well. It's an interesting place for his character to be. And yeah, Soren as a baby ran away from Viren afterward. I don't know if that's what happened in real life or if it was just Viren's uh, vision pointing out what would happen, that his son would turn away from him due to dark magic. But we also see baby Claudia follow in his footsteps, first literally and then figuratively. But then she passes him and goes into the deep red ocean and he's struggling to catch up to her and reach her before she's overtaken by a tidal wave of blood, which I'm taking to uh, signify dark magic. And then there's the talk about choice he has with his younger self, about who he is and who he can become. Obviously, he's done some terrible and unforgivable things, but it feels like his final moral alignment is still up in the air, and it'll likely come down to his relationship with children. Could be that he dies to save one of them. But yeah, the story seems like it's going to start kicking into gear now. Uh, I'm enjoying this season so far. I think I'm enjoying it much more than season four. Hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Uh, thanks for joining me here. You can check out the full reactions or early reactions over on Patreon. I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.